Daniel's a little smarter than you guys thought. I smell succotash. Excuse me, guys. Gotta make a flower run. Hey, what's going on? I'm doomed to a single portion. Who would do it? Who would surround beautiful flowers with razor wire? There's a lot of stuff I don't understand lately, but I'll mull it over in class. Come on, let's get inside. This is the worst. Poor James. Having to call his mom and dad himself just because he's new. And it's all that jerk Randall's fault. Yeah, he's always snooping around. I am not! Oops. Ah! <laughs> Little jerk ran into the boys' room. We'll get him. Come on, guys. What's that noise? Don't know, but I've been hearing it for the last three days. It's coming from inside that stall. Superintendent Skinner, Stone here. This was a great idea you and Prickly cooked up. So far, I locked up a clock controller, fenced in the garden, and tipped off Finster to the side entrance. Nah, dopey kids got no idea what's going on. <laughs> in fact, we all get to spend recess in detention. <laughs> I'll learn more of their tricks and get a chance to rest up. Not a bad way for a 42-year-old dude to make a living, huh, sir? Yeah, I'll send my next report tomorrow. Bye. I can't believe it. We treated James as a friend. It's like I'm in so our inner circle. Let him hang with us. And the whole time he was nothing but a Benedict Arnold. A grown-up Benedict Arnold. Well, I say it's time we had a little fist-to-gut talk with Mr. Stone. No, wait. I got a better idea. James doesn't know that we know he's a snitch. Maybe there's a way we can give him a taste of his own medicine. But how? Well, uh, sorry, Randall. Cool kids only. I can't be trusted. I understand. For using unauthorized entry methods, among other things, you'll all sit this recess out. I don't want a lot of chatter. I'll be back to check on the likes of you seven later. Welcome to Womps, Bill. You can say that again. We gotta get Prickly back, big time. But how, Teach? Remember how we weren't gonna do anything to upset Superintendent Skinner's visit tomorrow? It seems like a smart thing to avoid. Not no more. Now we're gonna pull off the biggest prank of all time. Tomorrow, when Skinner greets Prickly in front of the school, we're gonna drench him with a hose from up on the roof. Yes, a super soaking. Skinner will look like a drowned rat, and Prickly will look even worse. Now, we all have important roles to play. Uh, gee, TJ, I don't know. I'm already in real big trouble as it is. Yeah, Tease, let the poor kid off the hook. He's new. Okay, James, I'll toss you a job with some deniability. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Tomorrow, when Skinner greets Prickly. Now, don't worry, sir. Superintendent Skinner isn't due to arrive for another two minutes. I know that. Superintendent, Stone here. Listen, there's a disruptive cell at 3rd Street School planning an attempt on your clothing. Send security up to the roof now. Hey, buddy, rested and ready? Uh, yeah, ready as I'll ever be. Great, all you have to do is watch Benelli for the signal and quickly raise the school flag as a diversion. When everyone looks up, we douse Skinner with a hose. We get in, we get out. Nobody gets hurt. Yeah, but somebody sure gets wet. Cool, but a flag goes up pretty slow. How's that gonna be a diversion? That's where this little machine is. 400 BHP Electro Ridge comes in. I'll attach it to the flagpole. All you have to do is throw this toggle. The flag shoots up, everyone looks, oh my! And our destiny is fulfilled. Yeah, this is gonna be sweet. Laugh now, Detweiler. You and your little friends are doomed to a childhood of detention and extra homework. Superintendent Skinner, we're so happy to have you here at Third Street School. Yes, Prickly, I'm sure you are. Uh, hello, students and faculty of Third Street Elementary. It, it's indeed a pleasure to be on the lookout. I mean, I mean to be here today. When Principal Prickly asked me to come here today, he promised me I'd leave even more impressed than uh, when I received his embossed invitation. I certainly hope this is true, since your school's performance levels this year lag somewhat behind the rest of the district. Anyway, I didn't actually prepare this You never have a camera when you need one. Prickly, you idiot! Get me down from here! <laughs> no one laughs, not one chuckle! Who's responsible for this? Randall? He did it, he did it! <laughs> Thanks, man. Stone! Yes, Superintendent Skinner? You're fired! But, sir, I didn't. This, this wasn't my fault. It was these kids. They set me up! You're blaming kids? You're a 42-year-old man! <gasps> you! I'll get you for this! Uh, grow up. Well, so much for James. But he did manage to close up all our shortcuts. That's the beauty of fourth grade, Vince. We get to find new ones. <laughs>